now it's time for part two of the Ubuntu video, so let's log in. Basic password as always. Now they've rebranded the OS but they kept the same startup sound. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is check for updates. This distro was released less than a week ago and if you remember from the other Ubuntu videos there were loads of updates so let's check. We're doing it this way because it's quicker. Let's just sync the repositories. And they appear to be up to date. And let's watch it not ask for our password. 54 megabytes of updates and a new kernel already within a few days of it being released. Now that shows that it was released really on time, you know, it was ready. Bullshit was it ready if we're updating the kernel already. It hasn't even been out for a week yet. What's this all about? Let's do it. I'll come back to you when it's updated. And after the updates, this this icon lights up red and when you click it, it says restart required. I thought Linux didn't require restarts. Not beginner friendly ones anyway that they're, like they're marketed at all the time. Let's reboot. So the system's up to date now, so let's have a look. We'll run uname with the A switch and there you go, it's up to date. So let's launch computer janitor. Enter our password and it should clean up some packages. Okay, so it's not going to remove any of the old kernels now, right, okay. Let's download a dev file from somewhere. We're going to look at Flash. We'll download Flash and we'll see if Computer Janitor wants to remove it. And I thought that they were switching to Yahoo. They went back to Google quick. With too many people going, <gasps> Bing! Microsoft, we don't want to be associated with them. Is that what happened? Oh, it's really horrible having the buttons on that side. What were they thinking? They're trying to make it like a Mac or something. It's just unlike a Mac, it's crap. And why are these still orange? It looks stupid. In any case, let's install the package. Ah, oh, the wonders of the Debian package management and its awesome speed. Right, it's installing now. So now if we launch our good friend the computer janitor. <laughs> it wants to remove it. That's brilliant. The package is no longer supported. It does say in which case you may want to keep it, but to be honest, when someone sees that and they don't really know what they're doing, they're going to think it's no longer supported, it's no longer in the package archive. They're going to think, oh, it must be out of date, let's let it remove it. So computer janitor is still broken and you fucking know it's still broken. Look at the computer janitor video. I'm not even going to explain it again because it's exactly the same scenario. Six months later, you've still got the same thing. In fact, a year later, you've still got the same thing because this was in the other release before the last one. So that's still broken. That's good. I've been told to look at the software center, so let's have a look. Get software provided by Ubuntu. Provided, yeah, here it goes. Oh, it's just repos. It's like the old ad remove utility. Canonical partners. How come Flash Player. So, hold on a minute. It's telling me that Flash Player is installed here in the software center and it's good because it's got a little tick next to it and it's a canonical partner so why is Computer Janitor wanting to remove it? What about Adobe Reader? So let's let's install it this way Well what is it doing? Oh, I assume now it's going to download and install it. That's not very user friendly. And there's a percentage thing there. I'll just let it do it because it's apt. We can't even search for other packages whilst it's doing stuff. 
so we'll just let it do that let's have a look at the theme it's okay it's not brilliant it's better than the orange one but still and I don't know why the buttons are on this side I know that they had something planned for this side on the next release but that's the next release this is this release why are you doing that now when we're still in this release and if it's anything like past releases it'll never get implemented anyway or it'll take about five years personally I prefer the light theme well that's not very consistent the buttons are on that side in the images but on the actual theme they're on this side <laughs> and you never included the old theme in case someone might actually want to use it it's very slow by the way the font rendering isn't very nice but that goes that's the same for pretty much every distro it's okay when you set it on this setting I'm not going to enable compass I don't like compositing let's have a look at the resource usage well it's not too bad it's using a lot though for one program being open I must admit compared to other GNOME distros and then we got this usual crap that we had in the last video and why does software centre use up all this memory it's just a python wrapper is it not it must be including the apt work in there it's not too bad but there's a lot running here that if it had an auto detect it wouldn't actually run like Mandriva when it's installed it doesn't say this application has been installed it just disappears from here but if you click canonical partners again it comes up and there's Adobe Reader and some other stuff's in there now because I've enabled the partners repo now I wonder what computer janitor will do now so now it doesn't want to remove flash so the second I make it a canonical package it doesn't want to remove it that's dodgy that is don't know how anyone could promote this OS and why is the busy indicator still going round and round okay it's stopped well this is a lot of fun where's that Ubuntu one program that people keep asking me about Well, this is good they promote some application like so much and then it's hidden in depths of menus it's in preferences of all things oh have I got to make an account oh. what I haven't even had Firefox open since we downloaded flash it looks like we've got to make an account uh, I'll pause the video. So I've set up an account now and it's telling me how to do this. So I have to go to applications, sound and video, Rhythmbox music player, Ubuntu one. It's asking me to install some codecs. Have to put in the password because it's going to use apt. And it's probably going to take ages it's very integrated and very messy this whole thing don't you think and there's some music for us oh what to use so much music <laughs>